So we're standing here in Fastnet Film Festival with Sean Branagh. And Sean, your film Prison is in the festival. It's a short film. Can you yes. just tell us a little bit about it? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, very broad question there. Uh, it's a three minute short film about, um, I suppose, breaking free from whatever restraints you have in your life and, uh, and following a path that makes you happy. So it's kind of abstract. Um, it's based on a piece of writing by an American, uh, James Altucher, um, and uh, it was shot mostly in Cork City, uh, some of it out in Kinsale. Um, uh, but it's uh, it's a narration film. Um, yeah. And um, have you got any feedback? How's the response been to it so far? Uh, you mean in general or from I here? Mean in the um, well, I suppose you see it screens tomorrow at 12, so uh, it's been hard to gauge. Anyone who's watching it here is watching it on their phone or on their laptop or whatever over Wi Fi. So, um, so the feedback that I've got has been good, but I haven't got a huge amount of feedback yet by virtue of it not screening. People are watching it individually, so unless I tap people on the shoulder uh, I, I um, but it's been good it's been good definitely good. Mm. Um, what do you think of Fastnet Film Festival? Oh, sure, it's fantastic it's my fifth year coming to this festival now and uh, it's um, the people who run it are so passionate about it uh, about film about looking after everyone who comes here it's just a great atmosphere and fantastic guests and, uh, and brilliant films on nearly 24-7 you know you, you can you can drop in at any stage and see something surprising and good and will you go to the workshops they have a, they have a lot of kind of they yeah. different things funding and all these kind of things are you going to attend some of those I am I'm actually I, I will be going to work the funding workshops on Sunday uh, I'm going to the directors forum tomorrow morning or the producer forum tomorrow morning the directors forum on Saturday morning and um, I will probably go to some of the sound uh, talks as well as a good few on, um, and I'll go to the Steve Coogan interview on Sunday as well. I expect that'll be pretty full. Okay. What's the best thing about your film? Um, wow, well, that's uh, you know, I, I could give praise to to James for his for his lovely writing. Uh, and Seb, who acts in it, did an amazing job. Um, uh, and the scenery of Cork is beautiful as well. So I don't know if I could pick any one thing. I think it's a combination of things, really, that make it what it is. What's the worst thing about your film? Uh, it's so short, you know. I, I should have just kept it going for like a half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> People would be thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Listen, Sean, thank you very much for that and enjoy the rest Cheers. of the Cheers. So, Joe. How's it going? How are you doing? That's about. Uh, where are we? We're in uh, We're in Skull, Skull, West Cork, yeah. and the Fastnet Film Festival's on, uh, sponsored by Corona. Uh, but this is year four? Yes, five or six, I think. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Uh, well, I've been coming here for four years, so it must uh, be. Yeah, okay. And I, I missed the first couple of years. Uh, well, this yeah. will be my third year coming down. I'm just here for the day yeah. uh, the, 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 this time. Um, we have, have a short on, on Saturday. I did that with UCC. Um, uh, that will be sc uh, sc screening on Saturday. Um, uh, Daniel Clannell's uh, class at UCC and uh, the new film course has started. So um, the, the one I'm in is a short no uh, noir piece. There'll be other uh, pieces as well. Um, there'll be a little launch. Sounds good that they, yeah. they said there'll be finger food and things like that. So, yeah. Good, good, good. And uh, you've just got your just in the one film this year. Yeah. The, the, yeah. Oh well, yeah. no, actually, uh, Emma O'Brien, uh, novel approach, very, very small role. Uh, uh -huh. I was in that that was shown today, uh, 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 today Thursday. Uh, oh, was that the that, that wasn't the speed dating one, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was an amazing film. Oh yeah, really good. I, that, that was it's my really top my top one so far. Oh good. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it was fun to be in. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Very uh, clever. Uh, very uh, clever. Uh, well, the, the hope is that maybe we, uh, well, not we, but Emma as director, that he uh, gives it to uh, English classes. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. A fun way of learning about English, uh, English writing terms. So, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Many thanks Thank you. Too. All right. All the best.
So I'm standing here with Emma O'Brien, and uh, what's the name of your film? Emma? It's called A Novel Approach to Dating. It's, uh, it's my first uh, short film that I wrote and directed. I previously uh, wrote, co-wrote with a few people, um, but it's about, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's about grammar and puns and relationships. I, I call it a semantic comedy, is because it's all about wordplay and literary terms. So it's a bit niche, I will admit that. Um, but uh, I, yeah, I'm very proud of it. I, I kind of felt as well like it was very much my sense of humour, so I kind of had to direct it. I thought I knew exactly what I wanted. So and everyone, everyone who was there was like, I'm not sure this is going to work. And then when they saw it on screen, I think it's actually really come together. So, so your film was screened today in the village hall, and what was the response like? I know, it, yeah, it was. It got a good response. Um, people always, it, it kind of takes a while for people to um, to get into it because it's it's a, it's a hard concept to explain. But once it gets rolling. It's, uh, people seem to like it. It's funny, I, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a joke near the end that it's a bit more obscure, and this is the first time I got like a big laugh for that. So, I mean, that's the discerning skull crowd right there for you. But I was really happy that that finally got a laugh. I was, uh, it was a victory, I think. That's brilliant. As a young film filmmaker, um, tell me about this film festival, what it, what it means to you. Um, it's a good experience. Wait, I, I've been hearing about it for many years. This is my first year. Uh, I, I, I cover film festivals, but I've never been able to make it down to Skull before. And I just really love I love the atmosphere. I love the vibe of it. I love the fact that that whole thing about the whole village becomes um, and also, it's just it's a fun place. Like, um, it's one of these things where you'll constantly be bumping into people. You know, it's just a it's just a nice atmosphere like that. And um, also, it's a great platform because, like, even just within my own program, there the diversity was huge. So I just love seeing it. Plus, I love short films, and it's hard to find. It's hard to know. Like, it, basically, it's hard to see certain things. Like, um, Stolen, for example, that's coming in this time. Great film. I really, um, I really want to see it. So it's, like, it's great that we have a place for that. You know. And are you going to be availing of? There's a lot of uh, workshops with very experienced people. There's uh, clinics for funding and yeah. all the different stuff you're going to attend. Um, yeah, if, if I can, definitely. Um, I think that's another great kind of uh, aspect of it. A very unique opportunity. I do love the idea as well that there's like just a little bit of kind of Hollywood glamour to it as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, Steve Coogan is in, tend- in attendance. But um, yeah, no, I think I think those workshops are great because. They're a unique opportunity when, when you're starting out. For example, like for novel approach, we made it like no budget, but you really have to kind of trust in your sort of resources and ingenuity. And workshops like that are very important. Um, <laughs> the submission process for this festival, what, what do you have to do to get a film into it? Um, yeah, actually, I'm very very supportive. Actually, I will say that because um, there's. <laughs> There's this website, I, actually I, I might be waffling some feathers here, but there's this website called Without a Box, and it's, it's what most film festivals use. It was one of the most painless submission processes, because I, I, I've, I've submitted this to quite a few festivals, and it's just, uh, it can be tough sometimes. But uh, I know Fascinated was actually very supportive. What's the best thing about your film? Um, okay, well actually, I, I, it's, it's very pun heavy, right? And I love puns. And to me, a pun that elicits a groan is just as good as a laugh. And so I, I consider it the same. So there's one particular line that never fails to get a groan. It's never gotten a laugh. Today it was the same. And I kind of wait for that. And I, I, I just think that's kind of... I, I like that part of the film because I'm always waiting for... People kind of go, oh, you've gone too far with that one. Is the kind of general consensus. So I think that, that line that will always get a groan. It's near the end. You'll, you'll know it if you see it, I think. Okay. So. And what's the worst thing about your film? Just that, just that. There's a joke at the end that's very important. That is apparently the most obscure one. Uh, it might be. It, it's a. It's a bit too niche in that you need to definitely know English, like uh, English grammar. Um, but uh, I just. I know. I knew I was making. It. I remember. I, I when I first wrote it, I said this is for my ten writer friends. And then the fact that it's found any audience beyond that, I'm happy about. But it is quite. Uh, particular, I guess. So you're very much a, a writer who's evolved into being a director, is that it? Definitely. In fact, I always say that I'm a writer with a capital W, a director with a small letter, like, you know, because I, I think I, I kind of have to do it. Um, so I think of myself more as a writer than a director. But uh, I am working on my third film at the moment, just because I know kind of what I want, but I definitely have more faith in my ability to write than my... But there's people who are like over there, they're very visual filmmakers, and I don't think I'm quite that. I'm definitely about the script and about the about the words, about the dialogue. And, uh, Do you direct to keep control over your script? Um, in, in a way, right? Because I know my sense of humour is kind of uh, unique or unusual. 
uh, I should say. Um, so I definitely do need to have a bit of control, but not in the control freak way. I will actually will point out something that in my second film, Sleepover, it has this opening scene, and I had a completely different idea about it. And then my lighting guy, this guy called Stephen O'Riordan, noticed something while we were filming it, and he said, "Actually, from where I'm where I'm standing, you should shoot here." And he came up with a great opening film. So I'm always up for suggestions, and um, so I, I have a bit of a contr uh, I, I want control, but I'm not totally militant. Yeah, exactly. Great. So. Well, listen, thank you very much. Thank I you very enjoy much. the rest of the festival. You too. Thank you. So here we are at Fastnet Film Festival with Billy and Joe. And Billy and Joe, you have a film in the festival, is that correct? It is. Well, it's actually my brother's film, and I'm the lead actor in it. So. Okay. So you have a film in the festival? I have a film in the festival, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's called Getaway. <laughs> okay. And as he said, he's the lead actor. He's the getaway driver. The yeah. bad getaway driver. Yeah, it's a heist that goes wrong. Much. Yeah, if you could just tell me the little yeah, In a nutshell, <laughs> is a, a bank robbery that goes uh, not as planned, and Billy is the getaway driver that leads the, uh, <laughs> leads the getaway that goes a bit pear shaped, if you would. Yeah. Um, and you had your your screening today. Yeah, yeah we had it at four uh, four o'clock at the Adelphi. Yeah, it was quite a good crowd there actually. And what was the reception like? For it? Yeah, it was uh, there was there was some chuckles and uh, we got a clap at the end, didn't we? Got a, got an applause, which was nice. That went down well. It was in a good slot as well, I think. Some good films either side of it, which was uh, nice to see. Yeah. And so, have you studied film? No, I didn't. I went straight from school into being a runner uh, on set, and that's what I do now as a job. And then take that and like the experience and whatnot, and contacts and try and make my own films. But, um, Bill was my brother, yes, and I've uh, been involved really since Joe started just helping him out. I don't have anything to do with film. <laughs> I drag him away from his yeah. day job. Yeah, drag him away from my day job. He's quite a landscape gardener. And uh, just help him out doing four, four short films. In there. The first thing I ever did, um, I kind of was just starting out and knew no one. So I grabbed my best friend and yeah, my brother and uh, he really enjoyed it. So he kind of, it was kind of like a yeah, pack. So I had to fun. put him in everything yeah. that I made from then on. This is the era of the guerrilla filmmaker. Would you describe yourself as that? Uh, in a way, I suppose, yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I suppose in a way, because we had a bit of trouble with this one. We kind of sort of didn't go looking for the permissions, and uh, we got in a little bit of trouble because uh, we, we hired the van for the getaway, and we had people ballied up with... Uh, with guns and, uh, and yeah, an under undercover policeman. Yeah, police Matt Cameron was, uh, was a bit panicked, wasn't he? Kind of, I don't know, because <laughs> it was on the high road where we lived. There's people were uh, sort of running around and didn't really know what was going on. It's nobody known. It was all was resolved. Filming. It was all yeah, resolved. It, was, it was fine. We, we, told, we told him we was filming <laughs> and uh, he just wanted a link to the film and he was quite happy. Um, and uh, so have you submitted this film, Get Ready to a Lot of Festivals? Or? Yeah, this was, well this was the first one I submitted it to and the first one, um, well the first film I ever submitted to any festival and I got a yes, which was, uh, which was good and it's been, we played it at one near us in Forest Gate in London. Uh, like a mini film festival, which was good, and uh, none for the moment. It's been rejected by a couple, but it was always going to happen. Any plans of getting the resources together to make a feature? Yeah, I, w I, w um, I don't know if it would be a feature. I don't know if I could turn this into a feature. It's it's more of a short idea, but I'd like to write a feature um, around. It's it's a good subject. I think it's kind of uh, I like that idea of things that can go wrong and it, that's what it is, it's a getaway that goes wrong. And how about this little festival down here, are you enjoying it so far? Yeah, well I didn't know what to expect at all really and um, we're having a good time. It's really good, really, really well organised and it's quite diverse as well. It's really diverse, I didn't expect it coming down here and there's people from, well I suppose you half expect it because of the submissions but you get there and then there's French and then there's Polish and Americans and it's good they all turn out. And, uh, and how about the, there's a lot of there's clin funding clinics and workshops tomorrow, yeah. will you make use of any of those? I would if I was here, We're, we've got to head back because we've both got to head yeah, back, to, head back work. to work. We, uh, we took time out because we wanted to come obviously, but not that much time that we could then. Yeah, unfortunately Which was, we back tomorrow yeah. in the morning as well. So but we'd, we already booked before the uh, 
the programme was finalised and then all the workshops, understandably, have been put on the weekend and there's some good ones. Uh, I'd like to go to the assistant director's one, actually. I'm looking uh, forward to seeing Steve Coogan Steve as well. Steve Coogan, mm -hmm. that, really, the so. Greg Dyke mm -hmm. interview, which I'm sure will be a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. But um, no, it's good that they've got it all going on, actually. They've pulled in some big names and, uh, mm -hmm. with, yeah, with Coogan and Dyke and whatnot. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be very good. And they have got a lot of workshops as well. Yeah, yeah they uh, do. Yeah, I think they've got the lighting really workshop and mm. the cinematography workshop, and that it's uh, yeah. all good stuff. It's a good industry event. Yeah. So tell me your film. What's the best thing about your film? The best thing about our film. What would you say? Do you, I I think I like the yeah the end shot uh, without giving it away is is quite fun. It's when it kind of turns itself on its head. But I like the soundtrack. Um, it's a friend of a friend of a friend who studied film, uh, music for film at university and uh, he made a really quite, really catchy uh, score for it actually. It was a mix of, uh, I asked him to make me something that sounded like the full Monty and Bullet and he managed to do it, which was really weird. <laughs> I was like, because the Bullet car chase thing is cool and the full Monty is quite cheeky. And I thought, oh, he's going to make me sound horrific. And it, and it sounds really cool. That's my favourite thing about it. And what's the worst thing about your film? The worst thing? Oh, what is the worst? Go on. The swearing. The swearing, yeah. Yeah, yeah the swearing could be, uh, there's a lot of swearing. It's in I mean, context with the, uh, kind of the, the idea. It is in context. It, it it's, always, it's always a little bit weird when you kind of like, gauge people's reactions to the swearing, maybe. There is a lot of swearing. I mean, I suppose so, yeah. yeah. Did but that stand out for you at the screening? Did you suddenly go, oh my God, there's a lot of you, swearing? You said that. I, you yeah, realised how much there was. Yeah, I didn't realise really how much there was, I mean, it wasn't, awkward. it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not awkward or anything no. like that, it's, it's not piercing, it's not horrible maybe, swearing, maybe for me, like, oh, I wonder if people think of the swearing, or whatever, how tight you did you script the film, were you running very tight from the script, or was it a little bit of ad-libbing and kind of, no, there was some ad-libbing going on, like, we kind of, um, you helped as well, yeah, there was a little bit added in afterwards, kind of, when we came away, there was, I don't know, there was quite a, there was a, quite a quiet period, wasn't there? Yeah, um, there is a bit in the film where it was a bit quiet, it was like, oh, so we can't we rely on the music something. and the visuals, so um, yeah, we came up with like a little, we sat down and with a little, bit, little bit of ADR, yeah. and, uh, but no, there was quite a lot of lenience on the script, yeah. actually, because it's not, it's more about what you see than what you hear, yeah. so you could, as long as, yeah, and the reserve doesn't actually have yeah. any talking parts, so I, I don't actually speak for us, so. Much to your disappointment. Yeah, I was, you I was kind of hoping to get a few words in. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> You've got to give your brother a talking part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the, first, the, the first one he did, um, like the first short film we did, he had a role that was, was completely silent as well, he was like a sidekick to uh, the a lead little, man. He had a little advert thing that you did as well, which was like the first little thing you did, which I was talking all the way through and then... I perhaps I didn't do a good the job. Last, the, the last, last three things last, we yeah. did, you've had uh, uh, no speaking parts. No speaking parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Billy and Joel, thank you very much and enjoy yeah. the short amount of the rest of the festival. Thank you, I'm sure we will, yeah. Make use of it. Yeah, thank great. You. Thank you. Cheers. No, thank you. I'm here with Dan O'Connell at Fast Night Short Film Festival. Dan, you have a film in, what is it? It's called Come Away or oh, Human Child. And it's a short film about a little girl who gets uh, dragged into the woods by this little fairy uh, and the little girl is really trying to find her mother who's like she's an orphan so she's trying to find her mother and the fairy drags her into the, the forest to try and find her mother and that's the I won't give away the ending like so okay. and uh, your film hasn't been screened yet uh, no, it hasn't been screened. Screen on Saturday at one o'clock in the village hall. So, part of it. And um, you're also down here because you teach film in UCC, That's and right, there's a yeah. UCC program down here. Could you tell me about that? Yeah, well, basically, we we have a new degree. It's a three-year degree, and our first it's our first year into it now. So, uh, our first-year students have all collaborated on projects now, and they've made four films. So we want to screen. We want to premiere their films at a festival. So the school is perfect for a place to do it. Like, and they've been so accommodating and everything. So we're going to premiere the films in the village hall at half four uh, on Saturday. And David Putnam, um, 
who is a world-renowned producer. He's going to introduce the films to the to the audience and stuff. We're going to have a drinks reception afterwards and try and make kind of a bit of a showcase about it, like you know. So it's exciting, right? It's really exciting, right? Looking forward to it. How important do you think? Like this is quite a kind of an industry-friendly festival, isn't it? Yeah. How important do you think that is for you know for people who are studying film? Do you think that everyone should be down going to all the workshops and stuff at, at, at an event like this? Absolutely. I mean. That's one of the things about the Skull Film Festival. It's kind of like a film festival for filmmakers, you know? And everyone comes down here, and because it's such a small village, and the venues are all so close to one another, you just you walk down the street, you're going to meet someone who's a filmmaker. You don't know who you could be talking to. You could be talking to someone who's made a big Hollywood budget film for one minute, and you're on first names basis with them, and the next one you could be talking to someone who's just made their first short film. So it's fantastic for them to get to know other filmmakers and to kind of just get the atmosphere of the festival and the workshops that the, that Skull put on here like they're getting bigger and bigger every year they've got some fantastic industry speakers come down to Skull every year and it's just fantastic it's, it's a fantastic resource for anyone who wants to learn about filmmaking it's go to Skull and do all the workshops and by the time you're finished you'll have a, a, a very good thorough education in filmmaking you know uh, you were mentioning Hollywood budgets there, but like the, the outlook, there's a lot of Irish filmmakers making shorts at the moment, yeah. but shorts aren't the most marketable thing, are they? I mean, what, what do you think would help the Irish film industry to pull in, to attract, you know, I mean, we, we need to start making features, don't we? Yeah, yeah. well, <clears throat> I think there's a lot of Irish features being made at the moment in Ireland. Um, Huge, huge amount because it's so cheap, so easy to make a, a feature film now. Anyone can go out, get a cheap camera that can produce amazing image quality and make a feature length film, no problem. But the problem is the quantity. So there's, there's so many people now making feature length films and not always to the highest standard, you know, because not necessarily because of technical skills but because of artistic reasons as well. But cream always rises to the top. So, but what I would say to anybody who wants to make feature films or short films or any kind of film is to just go and do it and don't let anything stop you. You know, you're like, there's only so much budget there uh, for people to be able to gain access to this money to make films. But you don't need that. If you have enough passion, enough drive, and you want to tell a story, then nothing should really stop you from making a film. You know? Absolutely nothing. So, just go do it, get to know people. It's the only way to go, you know? Great. Your own film, what do you think the best thing about your own film is? Oh, okay, well, there's this little girl in it. She's eight years old. And um, she's one of the most photogenic girls I've ever seen. Like, I mean, she's beautiful. You just put the camera in front of her and it just lights up. And I think um, her energy, when on set when we were making the film, she was just the most bubbly, light-hearted person. It was fantastic to work with her, and she's beautiful in the film. So that's probably the highlight for me. You know. And what's the worst thing about your film? The worst thing about the film is probably me and my own, um, you know, the kind of questioning, should I have made it shorter, should I have made it longer, should I have done this, should I have done that, and your own self-doubt. You know, you're always criticising it, and you know it's never right, and that's probably the worst part. And did you script it, direct it, edit it? What yeah. Well, I wrote it, directed it, edited it, produced it. But I had a fantastic VP, Jason Keane. I had a fan fantastic production designer, Amanda Ferrer, and um, you know it was a small team. We had Sean Brennock on sound, and we had a fantastic score done by a crow called Eat My Noise. There are uh, a local Cork electronic band, you know, and they put a fantastic score on it. Like, I mean, it was fantastic to work with them, like, you know. And uh, it's just, you know, it's interesting to collaborate. Like, it's all about collaboration. So. Great. Yeah. And that's the theme of this year's festival. Isn't it? Oh yeah, absolutely. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> Listen, thanks very much, Dan, and enjoy the rest. Of Thank you very much. Thank you.